Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. Fantastic to have you here because today is week two of the four weeks of forging, a series of challenges for you to get stuck into and get involved in this incredible community of makers that is all of you fine folks, the watch. Last week we made a leaf bottle opener. This week it's about making tongs. We're picking winners at random and based on creativity and cleanliness of their work. And so we're very excited about this. Today's sponsor is NordVPN, virtual private network service designed to give you flexibility, freedom, and security when you're browsing the internet. And you can get 70% off a three-year plan at nordvpn.com forward slash forge. You also get an extra month for free when you use code forge at checkout. We need to make a pair of tongs to hold this touch mark. But most of the tongs we have hold things in this direction. And to be able to hammer on the touch mark, we want to hold it like this. You can make whatever pair of tongs that you want to be entered in week two of the four weeks of forging. But we're going to be making some of these side grabbers like this to hold things in that direction. In the forge, we have a piece of 5 8 round 16 millimeter mild steel bar. And of course, we're going to start off with the one heat tongue blank. Okay, time for the far edge of the anvil. Most aggressive place to draw material. All four sides, round side of the hammer. Here we go. So as you can see, I haven't made our finished tongue bit, which is the drawer of the tongue. I haven't finished that. I want it to be stout, because it's going to be in and out of the forge, oxidizing. There's no point in bringing it to final dimension. We use the far edge of the anvil, of course, to do our most aggressive tapering, reducing our stock size. But the far edge creates a forwards taper. We need a reverse taper. So we're now going to go to the near edge of the anvil, which is how we make tapers that come towards us. All right, we have the first half of our tong reins all drawn out. We've roughed out the second half. I go into a lot more detail on the basics of tong forging in one of my online courses. And we've gone through this stuff in live shows and other videos in the past too. So for the general aspects of tong forging, we'll keep it somewhat abbreviated. And we're now gonna focus on the more unique part, which is the drawers themselves on this. What we're now gonna do is draw it down thin, punch a hole, sort out this whole area. So we punched that hole with this punch. This is a 4140, about a little less than a quarter inch punch. If you're after steel for making punches, we've got some of that for you, cut to length. But that hole is a little bit undersized, so I have our final quarter inch bar. Same stuff we're gonna make the rivet out of. I'm gonna use this to make the drift to open it up. I know I've got plenty of these drifts somewhere, but I can never find them, so I've always gotta make new ones anyway. I just cut it off, and I, I promise, every time I ever have cut a piece of steel in my life, I cut it, and I then look at it, and I go, wow, I don't think I cut enough material. It looks way shorter than it looks right before I cut it. So, we'll see how it goes. I think we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna make our second half of the tongs now. Uh-oh. I'm getting very nervous about the material that I took. Even on that first step, the jaw, we ran out of true material. I. Should have, I should have known better and taken way more bar off. We 
might just get lucky here on this thing. Didn't go very well. I dropped stuff, the drift fell out, it was a bad time. Let's see if it goes better on the next heat. What I'm trying to do is with the drift in there so that we make sure that they're lined up perfectly because the drift holds them at the same point relative to where they will be held by a rivet. I'm trying to make a bend that goes backwards and then we'll bend that backwards bend forwards again to form our jaw. Trouble is, is that heat was just a quagmire of poor planning and uh, poor execution. Take two, we'll lock it in. This time we'll see if a fuller my hand and a hammer will help and achieve anything other than hurting myself. It's kind of struggling. That vice sucks the heat right out, and so it makes it quite difficult. Okay, as I finish up the jaws, I'm now gonna prepare our rivet. So this is a piece of quarter inch round bar. Each side of the rivet head needs one and a half times the diameter of the rivet itself. Okie dokie, that's a rivet. I'm really struggling to get these jaws perfectly, uh, perfectly situated. It'd be nice if I had a V-shaped bottom tool, but I don't have one. So I'm left to kind of bringing it in by eye, and any time you've got to match something freehand, it's always just that extra bit more difficult. All right, so I've put a little notch in the tips of our jaws. Helps give them a little extra versatility, grip some different stuff when needed. I now have this which is a uh, plate for drifting through. It's about 3 eighths of an inch thick, which is gonna work great for our quarter inch rivet that needs to have 3 eighths of an inch on either side of the material. Because what we're gonna do, set the tongs over this, drop the rivet the whole way through, head the top, flip it over, head the bottom with it being nicely supported and spaced by this. Twist off that piece. Oh, oh, come on, get off of there. Ah, ah, the heat is gone. The heat is gone. Okay, we might just get it. It's a little too cold. But there we go. We've headed one side of the rivet. We're gonna put it back in the forge and hammer over that side. Okie dokie. It's riveted. All right, here's a piece of three quarter inch square. We'll put this in here so we can make sure that the angles of the jaws are all dialed. That's looking pretty good. Make sure it's holding it pretty square, pretty centered. There we go. It holds the touch mark while the touch mark is touch marked. 
It even holds little bits like this in the end, which is very practical. It'll hold three quarter square, three quarter round. It even holds some oddball stuff if you needed it to. That is awesome. We've got some more cool prizes up for grabs for week two of the four weeks of forging. And so I really hope you guys enter and join along with us and all the other people that are getting stuck in with these challenges. If you made tongs before, try making a pair of tongs you haven't made before, just like I did. If you've never made tongs, get stuck in and set yourself that challenge. You're gonna be really pleased that you did. We've got more cool prizes to give away. The winners of week one of four weeks of forging are these guys. So be sure to go check out their Instagrams, see the stuff that they've done. We're very grateful for all of the entries and these are the ones that we picked. Huge congratulations to those guys. Today's sponsor has been NordVPN and so we're very grateful for their support. NordVPN is a virtual private network service that gives you security and flexibility when browsing the internet. They have over 5,000 servers in 60 different countries that act as an intermediary between you and the websites that you browse. Now this means that if you're trying to watch your favorite British shows whilst in the US and they're not available in the US, you can simply choose a British server to watch your favorite shows. Now one can do this by using the handy dandy the app for Mac, iOS, Android, and PC. Identity theft is not a joke, Will. Millions of families suffer every year. And that is one of the most important reasons to be using NordVPN, because the connection between you and their servers is encrypted with military-grade encryption. And in an age of ever-increasing identity theft, the more protection you can have while you're browsing the internet, the better. It's risk-free, they've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can get 70% off a three-year plan when you go to nordvpn.com forward slash forge. You'll get an extra month of marauder-protecting, internet-freeing, NordVPN coverage when you use code FORGE at checkout. Thank you, Nord, for sponsoring this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cannot wait to see all of your entries. See you all very soon. Tally-ho!